Man, these stages are so fucking short. I want the challenge and I want it now. Maybe I should be very careful what I wish for. Greetings everybody, my name is Crims and we're back with some old Prince Prsh. It's still June 4th, we're continuing this madness. I think I want to go up here first. Uh, the last stage, very weird with that platform secret, but also very interesting, the boss fight. Now this level introduces pixie dust. What the fuck were they smoking? But what we want to do here is get rid of them because there's no way to get past them down there. So we need to do this and hold and their pixie dust gets away. And do the same thing here. And then go down. Here's the switch which opens up the door up there. But we want to make it permanent so like that. Now it may seem very, very easy. You know I did all of this without even thinking kind of. But uh, even recently and back in the day, I had so much trouble with that room. And I believe I tried to do it without making that platform go down permanently. So I had to do this in a speedrun fashion. Now here's the hardest part. We can't jump because there's spikes. And you see, if you don't make that platform go down there, you have a time limit. So this is extremely hard. But if we jump from here, I believe we can just... Maybe not. Okay, so this part is quite hard. And we have 30 minutes left, and we are on the... What stage is this? Level 18. Okay, so we have uh, this one, 19. Two more levels until the final showdown with Sin. So let's try to jump from here. Yeah, okay, that's much better. So uh, hopefully we can jump from here. Nice. Now these things, I hate them so much. Run. Ah, don't! Okay, good. This place, full of spikes. No need to deal with them, just jump over it. There's healing shit if we want that. Uh, I think we need to make a running start. So run and jump, boy! And hold yourself. Ah, no, no! Okay, I guess I fucked up. I don't think we can beat the stitch anymore. Oh, spikes. Shit. Wow, shit, man. How am I ever going to pass this? And I don't didn't mention this, but it's still the same session. And um, it's in the middle of the night. I didn't mention that, but it's uh, right now. Let's see. I think it's, yeah, almost 2 a.m. And I'm not sleeping. Because I was up from 6 p.m. to 9. I mean, I slept from 6 p.m. to 9. Make it! Yeah, thank you. Yeah, 6 p.m. to 9 I slept. Uh, now I'm not tired at all. I have nothing to do tomorrow, basically. And uh, so I'm uh, making some commentary. Yay! Well, actually, I do have something I need to do. Oh, shit. Oh! For f y you! Do you even think you're dangerous? I fought that King Grams guy the last time. And you think you can have any chance against me? No, you can't. Well, actually, in just seven hours, when it's 9 a.m., I need to meet someone at the station and give them an iPad, which I borrowed from that program I went to, which was called... Uh, what was it? event and hosting, but I quit that. I believe I talked about this. I hope I hope I did. If I haven't talked about it, then uh, let me know in the comments or something, because uh, there's um, some things to say. Uh, okay, this part extremely difficult. Let's do it! Jump! No, you're not supposed to... <laughs> oh, wow. Talk about insult to injury. Now that is... Probably the hardest part in the game. Oh shit, zero progress. Man, why are you doing this to me? I need to redo all that shit. But the thing is, you're not supposed to hold the hold button because that uh, happens. Like, you, you saw what happened. You're supposed to hold it after you're below that platform so you can hang on to something else. 
We shall see. All right, uh, shit. No, that's not the way. Okay. Did I touch the pixie dust before that one did? Ugh. And that's, uh, after we're done with this uh, section, we're basically just halfway through. So this might be the longest episode, if not the um, next one. Level 19 is the prime jewel, and that's like, wow, if you beat this, you are really good. It's uh, pretty much insane. But I like it. It's very unique, different, and uh, very challenging, and I like that. This stage is just brown, more brown, and so much brown. And some crazy music. I mean, I don't enjoy listening to this. It's cool in the beginning, but now I'm getting so fucking tired of it. I mean, seriously, is that music to your ears? Maybe. No, MK, it, it's, it, it's cool. I'm not trying to say it's bad, but you know. There are better musics in the game. Okay, so jump from here, right? Yes. So, uh, I might as well just talk about it right now instead. Uh, about that um, event and oh, stick uh, thing. So, from February this year, to 2015, I went to a program in a town about 20 kilometers away from me called Events and Hosting. And um, I quit it now in April because I felt like it was not for me. It was way too basic, way too easy. I didn't learn anything. It was basically a waste of time and money. A little bit. And then it's also the fact that I'm a lazy son of a bitch and I'm stupid okay i'm not gonna say son of a bitch i will never ever say that to myself because i love my mom and she is she is incredible uh, but yeah a waste of time didn't learn anything and i was stupid and shit okay let's do it i will beat it oh my fucking god i can't believe i did it and i think this is a checkpoint if not man let's be careful so I am, uh, wow, two of them. Let's do it. You can't guard these forever. Oh shit, okay, grab one of them. Be ready. Oh shit. Just like that. Go back here. Shit, way too slow. Okay, just press A, take it. Well, thank you very much for that. Maybe that was a sign with the skeleton dude. I'm so stupid. It was a trap, but luckily it was a checkpoint. Thank you very much, game designers. You are a saint. So let's just get the good one and let him have the poison one for himself. There isn't any difference uh, for them. I mean, it's exact same icon. Wow, I can't believe a skeleton is owing me. Okay, good. Let's see, can we actually do this? Ah! Fuck! Okay, so you need to kill him. I mean, to get him down and then climb up. Alrighty then. You don't think I will give up so easily, right? Because we have been recording for 30,000 frames. You hear that, you piece of cock pudding? Well, I'm so creative. Okay, run away, turn around, beat his ass. Climb up fastest. No! Dude! <laughs> oh. Alright. And climb up. Thank you. Let's not do that again. Now I'm wondering, do we have all the health bottles that we can have at this point? Oh, more pixie dust. Shit. Well, you basically saw what happened when you touched them. Uh, I thought there were spikes. It just like disappear or something. It's like, shit. I don't even know what it is. I just call it pixie dust. Now I want this guy to die on the platform. And it's pretty easy to do that because he has so much health. Just push him over there and he will die on the block. 
Now, recently I'm watching through Game Grubs uh, playing Wind Waker HD. And that was back in 2013. And I must say, they were a little bit funnier back then. Not much funnier, but it was like new and everything. Okay, let's do this. No, way too late! Wow, that's what I call a drop. Man. Alright, let's do it. Let's redo it. And this episode is going to be so fucking long. I guess that would be good so it compensates for the fact that the last two episodes were quite short. Especially the last one. Okay, get it. Okay, get up your sword. Back off. Yes, like that. Own his ass. Dude. Now the cool thing is they can actually do that trick on you where they suck you in the wall and just keep on attacking until you die. It works for you as well because it's like the same engine for all of you. Uh, but they don't. They're so stupid. Uh, but yeah, watching Game Grubs uh, playing Wind Waker, I love it. I love the game, I love Game Grubs, so it's like a perfect combo. And they are so funny. I love the beginning where they... Uh, <laughs> they... What is it? They voice the opening um, text cinematic as... Um, I don't know what his name is, but that guy from uh, Batman, who's like, Master Wayne. But then, Master Wayne. No! Wow, you see, that's the hitbox. Like, the game fools you, like, it's so tiny, but it's, that's the actual hitbox. But yeah, that, uh, how they did the intro, very funny. And uh, how they voiced uh, Grandma, Link's Grandma. It's classic. It's classic Grumps. Perfect comedy. I love it. I wish I could be a good commentator as well. But Creams, you're shut up. No, I'm not. I'm just a Sweden, Sweden boy playing these old games which I grew up with. Well, most of these games I grew up with. I love doing retro commentary because I, I know these games so well, so it's very easy to talk over them. And that's what I do. Play these games. I mean, what's my goal? Now, we're not gonna go into that game. Yeah? Why, why am I doing this? I know why I'm doing this, so shut up! It's fun! It's so fun. And also the fact that... That... The feeling that I can actually entertain someone or some people in this world. That feeling is priceless. So let's jump from here instead. Wait, okay, this is the part I failed. So let's try to jump before the screen changes. Right now! And again! Oh, what the fuck? How are you supposed to know that? Oh, so I need to... Either I run all the way... And risk getting killed again? Or I release the run button as soon as I jump. I don't have time. Actually, I do. <laughs> All the time in the world, basically. Okay, turn around. Wow! Really? Will I have enough time? Yeah, okay. Um, so, in this uh, Wind Waker um, series that the Game Grubs did, I think it was around episode 22 or something, when they were in the Forest Haven, or Forbidden Woods, it's called. Danny shared a story which really hit me very hard. Now, I might go into serious crimps here and be like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, basically, when he was 18, he was bedridden for like eight months and uh, he, he took, didn't take that very well. Got very negative towards life, like, fuck everything. Uh, maybe not like that, but it's like very depressed. Depression. And um, when he got, you know, better and he could be normal and, you know, be outside and not be bedridden, he still f um, felt that depression. Now, I'm not saying I have been bedridden. Okay, let's wait. Release! <sighs> wow. Okay, I'm not saying that I have been bedridden or that I have depression, really, but, uh, wow, 20 minutes. Shit, will we have enough time? This is so stressful. 
But basically, he had this very hard time where he couldn't stop associating things with negative things, which led him to not wanting to do anything. For ex his example was that, let's say he wanted to ride a bike, but then he would think about running a bike and how he did that in his childhood and hometown and in his wow and in his hometown oh uh, shit uh, that's where his ex-girlfriend lived and that would uh, think make him think i don't like my ex-girlfriend uh, negative feelings and uh, thereby he didn't want to ride a bike anymore you see he oh shit okay you see where I'm going with this. I kind of feel that way as well. Let's own this guy's ass. Blow him a new one. I don't give any shits if I'm cheating with this parry attack all the time. I need to beat this game before the princess dies. Oh shit. <sighs> yeah, just get him over to the wall. Oh, this is so epic! <laughs> Shit! Yes, die already, man! I have stuff to do! Okay, now I can't see anything. Oh! I'm gonna get him against the wall. <laughs> now, that feels quite bad, because it's you're supposed to be in that epic scenery. But I have to hurry the fuck up! Only 18 minutes left, kind of. Wow, this episode has been so long. Man, don't give me choices! I think I'm supposed to go to the left, you know, it's just the rule of everything. <sighs> I knew it. <laughs> Alright, am I going to do the next step? Maybe I'm going to finish this game today. I mean, tonight, basically. So I open up the exit. You see, the exit opening is over here. It's like, what the shit, man? Why are you doing this to me? You're just making me waste time, so I'm not gonna beat it? Well, you can actually beat the game, you just won't get the good ending. Okay, get over here, boy. And also, I didn't finish this series in South Sweden, because I'm up now in my home near Gothenburg again. And I thought I was going to finish this game. Oh, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Okay, good. You finished this game uh, uh, before going up again, but I didn't. Nana came down. Yippee yippee. I just want you to die, Plox! Please! Uh, so I didn't finish it. But then, uh, okay, now we are. Kind of. Let's see. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Wow, that was a mouthful. Well, that's going to be a long episode. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time, good folks. Have a great day. And prepare for the hardest stage in the game, motherfucking 19. I mean, level 19. See you then.